Hi, I'm Todd, an SSD Applications Engineer at Micron. And today we're going to look at random read and write 4K IOPS on our C300 drive. The first thing we're going to look at today is our C300 drive hooked up to a 3 gigabit per second uh, SATA port. The C300 drive has an 8 channel Marvell controller. And this demo system here that we're using is the same one we used in some previous demos. Here we have a boot OS on our, also on a C300 256 gig drive, and in particular we're booting Windows 7. So what we have on the screen currently is our 4K random read IOPS on our drive. Again, this is 4K random IOPS, and we are running with an empty drive, unformatted. And we're getting about 50K IOPS for this device. Next thing we want to look at is the random write IOPS. And again, for this drive, running at 3 gigabit per second, we're seeing just over 47 4K random IOPS. So one thing we mentioned previously is this drive works at 6 gigabit per second. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and switch this drive over to our Marvell 6 gig HPA. And with that connected, we'll go ahead and start up IOMeter again. Go ahead and select the drive and make sure we get everything set up so we're ready to go. We'll go ahead and start that. I'm not going to save the file at this point in time. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the, the scale. But you can already see that we're achieving over 60K 4K random IOPS with the 6 gig interface on this drive. So what about, the, what about the writes in this case? Well, for the writes, now we're achieving just over 48K random IOPS. And we've also taken some numbers with some of our competitive drives as well. And for these competitor drives, uh, first thing we're going to look at is the, the read IOPS. And if we look at the first column, which is the 4K random read IOPS, we see that even at 3 gigabit per second, our C300 drive has about a 10% advantage over the nearest competitor. When we bump that up to 6 gig a second, we now see about a 33% advantage. You can also see how this drive compares to some of the other competitors that we find out on the market today, as well as different transfer sizes going from 4K all the way up to 64K. The other thing we want to look at is the random write IOPS. And wow, in this case we see a, a significant advantage in the 4K random writes. Matter of fact, it looks about 4x over the nearest competitor in both 3 gig and 6 gig interface. And again, you can see we have transfers of 4K all the way up to 64K. So hopefully this answers a couple of the questions you guys had regarding 4K random IOPS on the C300 drive. If you have any additional questions or comments, feel free to post those at microonblogs.com.